Your garden is wide. 今回の注目ポイントは wide の正しい使い方です。wide という言葉自体は日本人にとって割と馴染みのある言葉ですよね。例えば、ワイドショー、ワイドパンツ、<笑>あとは何だっけ、ワイドスクリーン。まあ普通に会話に出てきますね。でもね、自分が思うには英語のワイドと日本語の広い。まあ意味的にもほぼほぼ一緒なんですが、日本語の広いの方がまあ何て言うのかな、使い道がたくさんあるような気がしますあの英語より、えー、こういうことがよくありますよね実はこんな間違いを毎日見てます<笑>ほとんど毎日ですねあのうちの生徒さんと英会話をするとねでもね注意するレベルまでにはいかないことが多くてまあ多めにしてしまうケースが多いかなという感じがします残念ながら多くの方が同じ間違いをしていると思います。今まで注意されたことがないため、毎回毎回同じ間違いをあの繰り返している、そういう方が結構いると思います。<笑>今回は wide について簡単な英語で解説していきますね。I'm hoping this is going to be a really useful topic for you. We'll look at it in four logical steps. We'll look at the problem, the reason, the solution, and some example sentences. Let's dive straight in at the deep end. First, let's look at the problem. Your garden is wide. Your garden is wide. I know it seems perfectly natural. To use the word wide in a situation like this. Your garden is wide. Well, it's wide. Come on, what's wrong with you? In all honesty, it actually makes grammatical sense. But I hear this kind of thing on a daily basis. And you know what? It's such a small point, I normally don't say anything. I don't want to split hairs. But this is my YouTube channel, and the time has come to lay down the law. No more, Mr. Nice Guy. No, sir. You cannot use wide in a situation like this. <laughs> want to see a photo of my garden? I'd love to. Yeah, check it out. I was working on it. All weekend. This is amazing! Did you do this all by yourself? Yeah, it's all my own work. Well, would you look at that? I'm not just a pretty face, you know. <laughs> Your garden is so wide. I wouldn't say it was wide. No, it's really wide. Much wider than my garden, but it's not wide. <laughs> It's the widest garden I've ever seen. But it's not wide. It's wide. Listen, I'm not going to argue with you. I know my own garden. So, in that little skit, they were talking about how wide his garden was. What's the problem? Why would people think that this is a funny way to speak English? Allow me to explain. For the most part, the English word wide is used exactly the same as the Japanese word hiroi. There are many examples of them being used in very similar ways. She has a wide knowledge of ancient history. Reading a wide variety of books cultivates an open and liberated mind. The singer has a wide range of songs in her repertoire. So, in all those cases, we're taking the concept of wide and using it to illustrate a large amount of something intangible. Now, here's when things start to change. When you're using wide for an actual physical space, like the size of something, this is where some miscommunications can occur. Going back to the original sentence 
Your garden is wide. <laughs> so this seemed to annoy the person in the skit that we watched before. But, but it's, it's not, not wide. wide. When we're talking about wide in this sense, we have to look at it from a geometrical point of view. When I say wide, what do you think of? I think of something like this. It feels like it's only big from this side to this side. It's unbalanced. It's not taking into account the depth or height. It's only the distance from the left side to the right side. As you are clearly aware, in Japanese, it's perfectly acceptable in those situations to use hiroi. In fact, it's the best choice. Niwa hiro, heya hiro, wooddo deki hiro, odeko hiro. But in English, if you said, your garden is wide. <laughs> it's almost like you're telling me that my garden is a funny shape, like it's disproportionate. All righty, let's look at how we can say this kind of thing a touch more naturally. Join me back in the classroom. So as we talked about before, using wide for something conceptual, like to have a wide range of knowledge or a wide variety of products, you know, that kind of thing. In that case, it's completely fine to use wide. You could also use words like broad, extensive or incredible. But when it comes to talking about the size of a physical area, then we have to change things up a bit. In most cases, it's just best to use big. If you translate it into Japanese, it doesn't really sound the same, does it? Niwa ga ouki. Niwa ga hiroi. I'm not sure, but I have a feeling you like the sound of the second one better. So when you're talking about the size of a place, like a garden or a big space, it's best just to use big. Your garden is really big, so it must be tough to look after. The interior of the restaurant is much bigger than I had expected. There are tons of really big parks in London. In order to give more variety, you can use similar words to big, and they work just as well. My friend's garden is huge. I'd love to live in a house with a massive living room. The inside of my friend's motorhome is enormous. So when we're talking about geometrical sizes, unless it really is wide, then it's best to use words like those. By the by, in what situations would we really use wide for talking about sizes without sounding unnatural? It's quite often used for long things. A wide road, a wide corridor, a wide river, a wide gap, a wide shoe. One thing I've always wondered, why do you say wide o in Japanese? If you can explain it to me in English, leave your thoughts in the comments. Hmm. George Clooney owns a massive 25-room mansion on the banks of Italy's Lake Como. Did you see I used the word massive to describe his house? Also, take note of the meaning of mansion. In English, a mansion is a huge house that rich people live in. A Japanese mansion would be called a condominium or a condo. How wide is the Amazon River? That's a tough one. I'm gonna say 500 meters. Am I right? You're way off. It goes from 10 to 50 kilometers depending on the season. So when we're talking about the sizes of something like a river, we quite often use wide or how long something is or how wide something is. It's kind of a geometrical thing. The word wide seems to slip off the tongue much more easily. 
The other expression we had there was, uh, let me just think, ah, you're way off. <laughs> so if someone asks you like a quiz or like a question and you try and get the correct answer, you can say, oh, you're way off. My friend drives a Nissan Fairlady Z, but it's so small inside, there's no room to swing a cat. If you don't have much room in your car, you can say it's small inside. The expression, there's no room to swing a cat, is perfect for something like this or like a tiny apartment, that kind of thing. It's widely accepted that the Earth is spherical, but try telling that to the flat earthers. Speaking conceptually, it's perfectly acceptable to use wide in this way. Flat earthers are a group of people who believe that the world is completely flat and that the earth is like a flat disc, like a CD or something. Buying a house with a gigantic garden seems like a nice idea, but you could be asking for trouble. Gigantic is another word for really big and it's often used for houses and gardens. If you're asking for trouble, then you're kind of inviting bad things to happen as taking care of a massive garden takes up so much time. 